Hello there and welcome to this channel, Mr. Travelux, your sandals and beaches experts, where today we're going to have a look at the top 10 things that you should know about Sandals South Coast Resort. Hey there, I'm Addison, founder and CEO of Relia Destinations and MyCaribbeanLuxury.com. Thanks again for taking a moment of your valuable time to watch this video. At Reliant Destinations, we are your complimentary concierge service experts. We're top ranked global experts for sandals and beaches resorts. Our services are entirely complimentary and we would love to make sure that you have the very best value, the best service, and most importantly, a lot of insider tips and tricks to make sure that you're maximizing your stay when it comes to sandals and beaches resorts. From free room holds to insider guides and a lot of other exclusive material just for our dedicated clients, there's a lot of information and resources available for you. You can reach out hello at ReliantDestinations.com. Again, that's hello at ReliantDestinations.com. Or if you are on a smart TV, you can scan this QR code, of course. Also, before we're diving in here, do make sure to have a look in that description below. There's a lot of information you definitely don't want to miss. I've even recently coded something very unique, which is a personality quiz, allowing you to make sure that you're matching the perfect sandals resort with your personality. My team and I look forward to discussions with you to make sure that you are bringing memories for a lifetime. But for now, let's dive straight into this video, the top 10 things that you want to know about Sandal South Coast. Let's go. Sandals South Coast is one of only three Sandals resorts which feature true over the water bungalows. Now, there's a lot more coming here in the future, so if you're watching this video a couple of years down the road, hopefully we'll have some more options there, but at this very moment, it is one of three. We have some other beachside bungalows and villas as well, but in particular, we're talking about over the water bungalows. So these are ones that are situated entirely over the water, and all of them have a glass floor where you can look down and see the aquatic life under your feet. In fact, Jamaica is quite lucky because out of these three resorts, two of them are in Jamaica. The two resorts featuring these over the water bungalows in Jamaica, Sandal South Coast, which we're talking about today. And then over in the Montego Bay area, Sandals Rural Caribbean, which also features the other one off of a private island. Now, I'm very pleased to say that in recent years, the commute, that drive has gotten better and better. We're talking about the journey, the commute, so most people will be flying into the MBJ. This is the Sankster International Airport in Matigo Bay, Jamaica. Roads have been recently refurbished and it is very safe and it is much more practical than it used to be. For those that might have been to this resort many years ago, it was a little bit more of an adventure to get there. Now it's quite a seamless journey. Speaking of Matigo Bay, when you are flying into Matigo Bay, make sure to wave down the road because the Reliant Destinations Caribbean headquarters, our office is actually just across the road from Sandals Rural Caribbean, where we have lots of staff working very hard for you, making sure to bring you the best content, the best value, and the best service. So you'll be just steps away from us as you're headed to Sandals South Coast. So just wave down the road and we'll wave back. Headed to Sandals South Coast, of course it is a little bit traffic dependent, talking about which time of day that you're going to be going, but in general you're looking at about 90 minutes or less on average. All rooms at the resort do get an included transfer. It is a shared transfer, and so it is quite comfortable. And in my experience, a lot of times a shared transfer, I've even been in it by myself, making it a private transfer essentially, just based off of whoever is coming into the resort on whichever flight that you're at. There have been some recent name changes inside of the resort. So I would like to highlight these quickly. So there are some villages and areas of the resorts which have recently had refurbishments and with the refurbishments have came along some new names. So if you're watching some different content or finding some different things online, you're going to see a mix of old things and new things. So it all depends on when whatever you're reading or watching was published. So just know that this is the most up to date. And so let me give you what has taken over old names so that you don't have any confusion if you're looking at different rooms or parts of this resort. First, the French village turned into the Long Beach building. The Dutch village, which was refurbished recently as well, that has become the Starlight building. And the Italian village is the Silver Sun building. 
The Over the Water Bungalow area also has a new name. These are the Blue Maho Over the Water Villas now, and I've had some touches up to them and is a new name in a new area. The South Seas Rondeval's became Rondeval Village, which I think is a perfect name for it based off of the way they are grouped together in a very unique and private area in the resort. And finally, Venetia Plaza became the Peacock Plaza, which having seen my peacock friend there multiple times, it's a great name for that. So just a few name clarifications there in case there's any confusion. In the last couple of years, most of this resort has been refurbished and has also brought along some new, very interesting concepts. So with these name changes we talked about, there are also a lot of new rooms, also some that have been turned into swim up rooms that weren't previously and things like that. But personally, one of my favorites came about two, two and a half years ago. And these are the Rondevals. We talked about that Rondeval village. These are really large conical shaped structures, which are situated together on little lagoons. So not only do they have the privacy that comes with these rendezvous when you walk out, but it also goes into a swim up area where you have a dedicated lagoon, which is just for the guests that are staying in this particular rendezvous village. Inside these rendezvous, you have that conical shaped ceiling and you have the most wonderful bathroom. It's very, very modern in there, modern amenities. It feels very, very spacious. And if you're looking for something that's a bit of a unique experience that you wouldn't get if you were staying in most other resorts, this is something you might consider. Sandal South Coast features Jamaica's largest zero entry pool. So for pool lovers, you definitely want to experience that. There's a wide variety of pools at Sandal South Coast, so you do have that zero entry large pool. There are also some other medium sized and smaller pools, and also you even have things, for example, like a plunge pool at Red Lane Spa, which anyone can use. So there's lots of different hidden areas, including things like jacuzzis that you can definitely experience if you are someone that loves that pool vibe. Something this resort has, which is very unique, not really found at the other Sandals resorts, is a cabaret. In here, you will find an assortment of very high quality entertainment brought to you by your amazing resort team and other contract teams that tour through. What this also means is if you happen to have a little bit of inclement weather during your stay, hopefully not, but if you do get unlucky on that regards, it means the show goes on. So rain or shine, you can have high quality entertainment in this cabaret. And this happens multiple nights of the week. And then you also have some wonderful entertainment outside. I've seen things, for example, like trapeze shows, beach parties, and so much more. There's a lot of fun to be had when it comes to entertainment at Sandal South Coast. When it comes to resort size, this is a fairly sizable property and it's spread across 50 acres. In this resort, you will find 390 to 400 rooms, and these are spread across 21 different categories. As a reminder, or maybe if you're just learning for the first time, Sandals and Beaches has three different tiers of service. You have the entry luxury level, you have the club Sandals middle tier, and then you have Butler Elite. So not all the resorts feature all three of these, but Sandals South Coast does, and you have a lot of options there spread across these three different service tiers. Of course, also with lots of choice in those villages or new buildings we talked about earlier. So different vibes depending on what's your style and what kind of experience you're hoping for during your vacation. Next up, we're talking about dining. So Sandals has something called Global Gourmet Dining. If you're not yet familiar, Global Gourmet Dining means that you're having a truly amazing global experience, even though you're staying in one location. Sandals does a great job at taking different culinary concepts from across the world and bringing them together in a heightened form to make sure that your taste palette has the ability to sample a wide variety during your stay. At Sandals South Coast, my personal favorite is called Eleanor's. Eleanor's is a pan-Caribbean cuisine. Well, within the Caribbean, of course, you do want to sample local Caribbean delicacies. So you can try things, for example, from Jamaica, St. Lucia, and other islands there in that restaurant, and it's highly, highly recommended. And for foodies like myself, there's something brand new actually that just came to this resort when it comes to food. And this is a food truck and not just any food truck, but it is a taco food truck, gourmet tacos. How cool is that? This food truck called Taquiero, it is 
really, really awesome. And you get mini tacos, of course, as many as you want because it's all inclusive. And you can try those there while you're sitting along the beach or having whatever daily entertainments that you desire. So for those that like that grab and go style, but also want gourmet at the same time, well, this food truck is that perfect sliding combination to find the best of both worlds. Finally, we end this video by mentioning the fact that at this resort, Sandal South Coast, when it comes to the accommodations, about 90% of them are beachfront. Now this is very unique for a reason. If you have stayed at other brands before or other sandals or beaches resorts, you will know that when it comes to beachfront rooms, those are typically at a premium. So those are your higher level rooms. So those are something which typically, those are the upper tier. So when you have all your butler and club, it's usually the, the second half of those on the, on the pricing premium spectrum are your beachfront rooms. But when it comes to Sandal South Coast, the vast majority of rooms have a beachfront view. So that means that whether you're staying at that entry, uh, luxury level tier we talked about, or if you're standing at that, that club sandals, middle tier, or partaking in that Butler Elite Pinnacle, it doesn't really, really matter because you have the ability to have beachfront room. So for those of you who are looking for a beachfront room at a good value, well, I would say the value definitely is there to be had at Sandal South Coast. Well, there we have it. Those are some top things I think you should know when visiting Sandals South Coast. But perhaps this resort is the best for you. Perhaps a different one is the best for you. Whichever boat that you're in, I would love for you to reach out. Hello, it's ReliantDestinations.com. That's where you can make sure that you're getting the best value, the best service. We can look over anything you've already looked at a plan so far. We can go ahead and help you take the next steps of your journey to making sure those memories are there for a lifetime and are definitely the most positive possible. Please remember to like this video and subscribe. And of course you can have a look on the channel for hundreds of other videos about sandals and beaches, everything you can imagine. We're there for you and we look forward to seeing you in tropical paradise sometime. Take care.